After years filled with mystery, speculation, and countless theories, the James Webb Space Telescope has finally delivered something that could reshape our understanding of the universe. The first true high-resolution image of Betelgeuse, the massive star that has long fascinated scientists and the public alike. For years, many believed Betelgeuse was on the verge of exploding in a spectacular supernova, a cosmic event that would light up our skies like a second sun. But what James Webb has captured goes beyond all previous expectations, leaving astronomers both stunned and curious. Are we witnessing a phenomenon never before seen? Or is Betelgeuse concealing something even more astonishing? Betelgeuse, one of the most enigmatic and colossal stars in our celestial neighborhood, has inspired awe across generations. Its sheer scale, approximately 1,400 times larger than our sun, and its intense reddish glow have made it a prime target for astronomers since the earliest days of sky watching. Positioned in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse has always been a subject of both admiration and scientific suspicion. But in recent years, it has drawn attention for entirely new reasons. Something strange began happening. Betelgeuse began to dim, and it dimmed fast. For a star as luminous as Betelgeuse, this abrupt decline in brightness set off a flurry of theories. Was it reaching the final stages of its life? Were we about to witness a supernova right here in our own galaxy? The excitement and anxiety in the astronomical community reached a fever pitch as the star continued to flicker and fade. A supernova visible from Earth would be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, an event unmatched in modern human history. As data poured in from telescopes around the world, the prevailing assumption was that Betelgeuse was on the cusp of a colossal life-ending explosion. Yet, despite the fluctuating brightness, the long-awaited blast never arrived, leaving scientists puzzled and eager for better answers. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope entered the picture, a triumph of human engineering launched to peer deeper and clearer into the universe than anything before it. Equipped with a massive golden mirror more than six meters across and cutting-edge infrared sensors, the James Webb was built not only to study the distant edges of the universe but also to unravel the mysteries lurking closer to home, including the enigmatic behavior of Betelgeuse. Could this powerful new observatory finally reveal what was truly happening within the heart of this red supergiant? The wait for concrete answers stretched on, with scientists and astronomers around the world holding their breath. And then finally, it arrived, the first real high-resolution photograph of Betelgeuse captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This image was not only stunningly beautiful but also profoundly revealing, offering a new and unexpected perspective on the red supergiant. What scientists saw in these images was not what they had anticipated. Through Webb's sensitive infrared eyes, Betelgeuse appeared not as a fading, dying light, but as a seething, turbulent giant alive with activity. The surface of Betelgeuse, once imagined as a smooth, uniform sphere, was revealed to be chaotic and dynamic, dotted with massive hot spots and bright patches. These were regions of intense activity, areas where violent stellar outbursts were hurling gas and dust into the surrounding space, creating vast and irregular clouds that wrapped around the star like a cosmic shroud. It turns out that Betelgeuse's recent dimming wasn't necessarily a sign of imminent death. Instead, the star is shedding vast amounts of its outer material through what astronomers call stellar mass ejections, colossal explosions that eject matter in all directions, reshaping the space around the star and dramatically altering its brightness. These violent processes make Betelgeuse's surface look like a constantly shifting battlefield, where massive regions brighten and fade over just a few weeks, an astonishingly rapid pace for a star of its immense size. This unpredictable and extreme behavior has sparked heated debate among scientists. Some believe these observations point toward Betelgeuse entering its final evolutionary phase, potentially setting the stage for the long-expected supernova. Others, however, think the star may be stabilizing, going through turbulent cycles that are intense but not necessarily fatal. Regardless of which theory proves correct, one fact is undeniable. Betelgeuse is behaving in a way we have never witnessed before in a star of its type. What the James Webb image has provided is not just a detailed look at a single star's surface. It's a profound challenge to our understanding of stellar evolution. For decades, astrophysicists have modeled the life cycles of giant stars, charting their births, 
their midlife changes, and their dramatic deaths in massive supernovae. But the Betelgeuse data suggests that the final phases of a star's life might be far more complex and unpredictable than previously thought. Webb's unprecedented view forces scientists to reconsider long-held assumptions and underscores just how much we still have to learn about the universe's most massive stars. Beyond its scientific significance, the prospect of Betelgeuse exploding into a supernova carries a unique emotional and philosophical weight. Were it to happen, the event would be visible from Earth for weeks, dominating the night sky and offering a spectacle unlike anything humans have seen in centuries, but without posing any direct danger to our planet. Such a sight would not only inspire awe but would also provide astronomers with an unparalleled opportunity to study a supernova in real time, offering crucial insights into how these titanic explosions distribute essential elements like iron, oxygen, and carbon throughout the cosmos. These elements are not just cosmic debris, they are the very building blocks of planets, ecosystems, and even life itself. Every atom of oxygen you breathe, every atom of carbon in your body, was forged long ago in the core of a massive star that ended its life in a supernova. In a sense, to watch the final stages of Betelgeuse's life is to peer into the ancient processes that made our own existence possible. Astronomers are deeply aware of this profound connection, and studying stars like Betelgeuse is in many ways a study of ourselves a reminder that we are part of a vast and interconnected cosmic tapestry. The revelations brought by the James Webb Space Telescope are only the beginning. Betelgeuse is just one of countless wonders waiting to be explored. With its powerful instruments, Webb has the capacity to look deeper into space and further back in time than ever before, opening up new frontiers in the study of everything from distant galaxies to potentially habitable exoplanets. Every observation, Every data point captured by this remarkable telescope has the potential to rewrite what we know about the universe, and perhaps one day even answer some of humanity's most enduring questions. Where did we come from? How did life arise? Are we alone? The high-resolution image of Betelgeuse, as breathtaking as it is, represents just one chapter in the unfolding story of cosmic discovery. As Webb continues its mission, we can expect many more surprises. Insights into star formation, clues about the evolution of galaxies, and maybe even hints about the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. Each discovery expands the boundaries of human knowledge and draws us ever closer to understanding our place in the grand cosmic order. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than just an astronomical instrument. It is a time machine, a window into both the past and the future of the universe. With every image it sends back, it invites us to dream bigger to ask deeper questions, and to embrace the incredible complexity and beauty of the cosmos. And as we continue to study Betelgeuse and other celestial marvels, we are reminded that the universe is a place of endless wonder, forever waiting to reveal its secrets to those who dare to look.